Here's how to test a switch like this. This is a rocker switch with three positions. The center is neutral, which means it's off. That's position one, and that's position two. There's three terminals. The center is the input, and the two on the outside are the output. This is known as a single pole double throw. I bought a bag of these on Amazon. They're usually used to install aftermarket circuits. I found that they're not always reliable, so I always test them before I install them. I have Devo connected to a 12 volt battery I had on the shelf. I could have used the vehicle's battery instead. The black lead is connected to the negative channel on Devo, and my red lead is connected to the negative post on the battery terminal. Since I'm only using the negative channel on Devo, that's the only one I'm focusing. When I go to test the switch, when it makes contact between the center terminal and one of the side terminals, I want it to look like that. Green LED and zero volt dropped on my negative channel. When I move the rocker position to the center or to the opposite terminal pin, I want it to look like that. Red LED and full battery voltage. I'm gonna connect the red test lead to the center terminal I'm gonna take the black lead and I'm gonna connect it to one of the output pins. Now, this is the opposite pin, so I should be seeing a red LED and full battery voltage. I'm gonna rock the switch to the center position, which again, I should see that same thing, and then I'm gonna move it all the way to the far position, and we can see I get a green LED and zero volts. So I know that pin works. I'm gonna swap this to the other side. In this position, it should be red with full battery voltage. Same thing with the center position, so that's good. All the way over, it makes contact between those two. I get a green LED and zero volts dropped. That tells me that this switch is working good. Let's test the next one. Same thing, red test lead to the center pin. Black test lead to that side. I shouldn't have any contact, so that's good. Same thing with the center. Let's go to the far position. Green and zero volts dropped. That part of the switch is working good. Let me flip it over to this pin. In that position I should get red. Same thing with the center. And now look at that. In that position, I get a yellow LED and I get 0.16 volts dropped across that switch. That's a really high voltage drop across just this tiny switch. We saw the other one, the other position, and the other switch were both green with zero volts dropped. Now we're up to 0.21 volts dropped. So this switch is defective. I would not install the switch into the vehicle. The reason I didn't test resistance with a multimeter is because I'm installing the switch into a 12 volt circuit. So I want to test it with 12 volts and the most an ohm test will output here is about five millivolts. Nowhere near the 12 volts the switch will be used in. With Devo, I'm able to test the switch at 12 volts and under a load, so my results are more accurate. 